of a new blood is, um, you know, you, you have this thinking that, you know, I have so many years ahead of you, you know, just do whatever you have to do without any fear. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the way uh, Phenom. Oh yeah, he doesn't care at all. He yeah, just yeah, jumps yeah, yeah, yeah. and does whatever he wants. And just does DP out of nowhere. I was just watching the, the Canada Cup uh, last night between yeah, yeah. Mochi versus uh, versus Phenom. He doesn't care. That was crazy. <laughs> He doesn't care at all. <laughs> doesn't care at all. Usually, you will, you will only do, let's say, if the, if the opponent has enough left life where your EXDP will finish it off. You'll think, you'll probably think that might be a good time to do it, but you know. He doesn't um, care. He doesn't yeah, care. he doesn't that's care. It. So, that's what I think about the new bloods of this, of this generation, you know. I think that's an advantage, but experience is a key factor in this game. Yes, I mean Don has been there. He has been playing since KOF. Yes, ninety-five. Experience if I'm not against different players. Experience in terms of how this game works. Experience and you know playing. And of course, in, um, playing in the big stage. Of course, Don has has been fresh off C C major. Yeah, C major. But let's not count James out. I mean, he's been to Singapore last year. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to go this year. But for some reasons. He's very hungry. I can feel the hunger for him to win this. All right. So actually, we all know James to be using. Um, Mikali, but as of late, he has been dropping the person. Colleen. Colleen. Okay. When I ask him, why are you using Colleen? He's basically using Colleen for, uh, against characters that are rushdown. Alright. I guess right. a Kabuma can be that character. Um, but for example, if it's uh, against a uh, type of character that, you know, uh, plays long range, zones out, then he's going to use Nikali. Alright. That's a fair assessment. Fight. Had to reset, had to reset the stage because training mode is illegal. Oh, okay. It seems to be getting chilly. Okay, it's predicted. This is it. Winners finals. Winners finals, guys. So race to three between two teammates: Colleen versus Akuma, James versus PB Don. Let's see how this game goes. And winner of this, of course, guaranteed top two in this match, in this whole tournament. Of course, Dawn coming out swinging. Again, the corner lockdown. Close to stun is James, and that is it. Okay, close for the damage. Almost the oh wow, okay. James is like Wow, there is that is real. That I is haven't real. seen it before. I have no idea you could pull off a DP in between. Round two. Was that the medium punch cancel into a trigger? Or no, that was just raw DP. I don't know. I mean before what what did James uh, press before canceling it into the V trigger? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Because maybe if it was a, a fierce punch, maybe it, it, it was a real thing is, um, string. It's, it actually just shows that there is truly a gap between those strings. Yes. But let's see. Uh, I would like to see it again. I'll probably review this video. I haven't seen it before. So that's the new tech I've seen. I mean, like, um, for, for example, my match against an end online. Right. You see a lot of um, crazy stuff. Like, you can't be reversal. No confirm there from Dawn. Okay. Again, that uh, crouching medium kick from. Colleen, it's a plus of block. Very rare in this game. Usually all kicks are almost always minus. But Actually, Yurin's of Kaji Media Kick was plus one or plus two. Oh, it is. Okay. Plus one or plus two, I'm not sure. Yeah, and before the nerf, actually, the Crouchy Media Kick of Yurin was also so much plus. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad they nerfed that one. Actually, in the story mode, the story mode beta, yeah. Yurin's Crouchy Media Kick was cancelled. Oh my so that's god. Really broken. Please, please, Capo. Thank God. And game number one, just like that. PB and Dawn Whoa, takes it over. PB is super James. And that's pretty convincing. Mm -hmm. set. Uh, and I, yeah, I think it's. I, I don't know how. To, okay. I know. I think it's just, just like experience. That. Just pure yeah, yeah. experience. And the yeah. thing is, I I'm surprised though that uh, where where is uh, Dawn getting this matchup experience? I was about to, about to get to that. I mean, of course, he plays a lot of online, but yes. it is your responsibility to know your opponent. And of course, Dawn is the type of guy to do his research. Yes. Dawn is one of those very scientific, you know, very technical guys. Yes. 
knows every who probably knows everything down. I mean, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that play in different styles. You know, yes. There's people that play with the heart, some with the mind, some like with both. Yes. I would like to play more with my mind. <laughs> I'm playing with my heart, so I mean that. I, I, I haven't relied too much on Instinct lately. I guess it's not too good. It has to be a balance of both in this game. Gets the bait there. Wow. Okay, what's the setup here? Is he going for a throw? Okay, but God, just, just, just refusing to do. Yeah. I think that's a good, uh, I mean, that's the right approach. Uh, just don't do quick rise. Because once Colleen does unleash her Sometimes you, you're so eager to quick attack. rise. Yes. And that, and that creates yes. the setup for, that's for Colleen. It's not always good to just get up. Yes. Sometimes, actually, um, not quick rising actually moves up with your opponent's head. Yes. Because usually if they have this one set of midi that they always keep doing and doing every because every knockdown. Because if keep doing quick rises, they get used to it. And that is it. It's going to be two games to zero. All right. Uh, at this point, I think James should... Uh, he still has one. This is his last chance. Yes, his ace in the hole. His this last card up. It seems that Colleen is not working Please. at this point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he's thinking. But and of course, there like, we go. like I said earlier, Don is not the type of guy you can ma um, counter pick right off the bat. Yes, very loyal guy. Of course, used to be a real player. Thank you. Used to be a real player ever since uh, previous versions of Street Fighter Four. James of course, he, right he did change to Evil Ryu when he uh, came Akuma. out in Street Fighter 4. Because Ak Akuma is actually a better Ryu in all senses. Yes. Okay, he's gonna go with Colleen! Oh wow! I thought that was definitely a change to the Kali, but I guess you were wrong. Just trying to buy time to think, what is his next step to prevent this onslaught from me being gone? It's looking really bad though. Yeah. I'm but surprised how they never, never count the James factor out. Right. We have seen it over yes. and over. I'm surprised though that um, earlier when we used to play, his uh, parry attack was very on point. Yes. Unfortunately, none of it seemed to work in, the pre in, the, in these past two games. You know, ca the world of casuals is so different from the world of tournament because in casuals, you don't have any fear. Yes. You're free to take pressure. There's, yeah, there is no pressure. And there we go. There we go. About Look that. at the damage on a woman that was like already something like a CA damage. But of course, this is Akuma. Oh my God, so for much Akuma. damage. Oh wow! Is this going to stun? No, One it's last not. Hit. Of Get course, hit. unfortunately for for Colleen, no viable, almost practically no viable All reversals. All her reversals are, are just pure heart. Yes. That was a back heart punch straight. Gets the juggle. Very bad position, but nice backdash there from Oh! Nice use of that wall pump. Counter hits are all stacking up. This is match point, by the way. James needs to do something here. Okay, nice speed reversal there from Don. Gray life is building up. Okay. Okay. Neutral game, back to the neutral game here, mid screen. Okay, James trying to fish out here for a whip That's punish. Possible. Oh, no punish there. Oh, no. Oh, no confirm from the standing medium kick. Alright, let's see. He's still alive. Okay. Of course. And we just lets lot. it rip. And it was just six straight games from BBE Dawn. BBE Dawn is gonna go straight to grand finals right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're going to straight. We're going to go straight to the losers finals here. Yes, we're gonna be having IPT Motaka versus PB Super James. Yes, it's gonna be PB versus IPT. Of course, yes. Philippine Civil War. And of course, we just, um, if you remember last Thursday, we did play at Playpad um, in Mandaluyong. Were what, these was two Wednesday or Thursday? Uh, oh yeah, Thursday. It, it was, was Thursday. Thursday. Yes, yeah. yes. Where these two face off each other in the grand finals. Yes, he actually made a reset, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it was a reset. James, then, James was in the winner side, and IPT Motaka was able to reset it. But it was a very avail. close match. Yeah, yeah. But to no avail, James no avail. Took it all. But it was a very close. It was yes. down to the last game. But now it's just down to whoever gets the first three games <laughs> because this is Lunar's finals. And yeah, look at these two having a chat before the actual match. I mean, looking carefree. Yeah. yeah. 
And come on, guys. Of course, James is using. This is an Evo 2018. Ticket to Japan is at stake here. It's close to life and death. Yes, yes. Actually. But, um. Except for the dying.